Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are doing a, another Netflix and chill and I'm staying on the theme of the I Am A Killer. So we watched season two, episode two and it was about David Barnett and it was a very, it's a sad, sad story. Well, like they all are. If you haven't seen I Am A Killer on Netflix, it is a documentary series like interviewing individuals, both men and women who have committed murder and they are serving either a life sentence um, or a death sentence penalty if you haven't seen this episode then go ahead and watch it and then come and chat what you thought so david barnett was from a very very young age i think i think they said his mum died and a family friend or a friend of hers decided that he would take care of little david um he did not take care of david at all once the authorities caught up with david you know various things happened i'll let you go and watch it you will understand i don't want to go into too much of gruesome details but once the authorities did catch up with david i think he was probably about six years old they placed him into foster care and he was in foster care with a family before they gave him back now they gave him back because apparently they <laughs> look at that tail i've got a friend with me today <laughs> um they gave him back because they were moving um which i'm a little bit confused about why you you know are children that disposable i don't know or were they not allowed to take him away it seems a little bit strange that you know you would foster a child and then go mm, actually no we're moving and we don't want to take you with us just my thoughts anyway I mean, if you agree to take care of something, you take care of them and you take them with you. Anyway, so he was given back to the authorities as such. And later on, um, he was fostered by a gentleman called John Burnett. Uh, John Burnett was a single man and he took care of david and was very nice very nice to david uh, one day he took david out for dinner and told him or said to him would you like me to adopt you david accepted and then that's when trouble started john barnett started to abuse david both physically and sexually once again poor david didn't really have a very good life ahead of him um john barnett's parents david's grandparents as it were lived on the same street and apparently they were very very nice people very nice people david said they were lovely you know he preferred them to john john adopted another little boy and david took it upon himself to try and protect him he didn't want his new little brother to sub be subjected to the abuse we fast forward so apparently david had gone to his grandparents house to apparently tell them all of the abuse that he was enduring we draw a blank so david said that he blanked out he doesn't remember what happened but when he did come to both his grandparents had been brutally murdered so they had been brutally murdered by david he claims that he does not remember what had happened at all he doesn't know what happened blanked out in a rage he said that he had gone to tell them what had been going on we can only assume that they didn't have the response that david was hoping for i don't know whether i don't know maybe maybe they knew maybe they did know what was going on there's several reasons of what had happened maybe they were completely you know absolutely not our son would not do anything like that you know he is he has taken care of you he's adopted you he'd pulled you from the gutter i find it really difficult to believe that somebody is going through that kind of trauma that kind of abuse I know they always say you don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but it seems very strange how 
not even the parents had seen any of the abuse whatsoever. Maybe they did know, maybe they didn't know. Even his best friend did a statement, um, John's best friend, and said that he was the nicest person ever and he would never do something like that. Mm. Obviously not. David's friend, his best friend, apparently they had, David and his friend or something had found pictures of naked children. There was compromising pictures found anyway and they apparently had taken them to the police station and the police completely dismissed it so that's really strange as well that they completely dismissed evidence that john barnett was doing stuff with children so david was charged with the murder of both his grandparents and was given a death penalty the death penalty was later lifted and he is just serving life in prison i assume he won't ever be out now these programs are difficult because you listen to these people's story and why i would understand if he killed john barnett i would understand if he killed him why kill the grandparents i don't understand why you would kill the people that were nice to you the only people that were nice to you and yet you let the man that isn't nice to you the man that abuses you the man that calls you son and yet does all those disgusting things to you you don't kill him that is bizarre i know this is just a trail of thought i mean please don't you know i'm not saying that it's absolutely fine to murder someone if they hurt you in any of those ways but it's strange that he chooses to murder the people that are the nicest to him rather than the person that isn't do we believe that he did actually blank out and he doesn't remember anything maybe he is blanking it out maybe it was such an enraged attack that he did blank out um, I wonder if he would ever gain his memory back. Very much doubt it. I don't know. It'd be interesting if he did. And if he came, you know, and said, look, I remember what happened. John was quite a well-known person where he lived. So maybe people did know or have suspicions that he was doing things that he shouldn't, abusive to the children. But what he what he did for them kind of outweighed what he did to them maybe people thought that i don't know it is a, such a sad story i do think this is one of the cases where the authorities did completely fail this young boy start of life that he had was awful and then it didn't get much better he was failed by the authorities and by every adult that he trusted and should have been able to trust they completely failed him i'm glad that he didn't have the death penalty glad that that was uplifted although he did commit such a brutal murder i don't know what the penalty would have been if he had killed john because obviously he would have planned it he would have been taunted towards doing it i don't know i'm not sure um anyway if you saw that episode then don't forget to comment below what you thought and i will speak to you all very soon I hope you don't mind me being in my car again. <laughs> uh, I will speak to you very, very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.